Paget's Disease of Bone, Wikipedia article audio. Paget's disease of bone is a condition involving cellular remodeling and deformity of one or more bones. The affected bones show signs of dysregulated bone remodeling at the microscopic level, specifically excessive bone breakdown and subsequent disorganized new bone formation. These structural changes cause the bone to weaken, which may result in deformity, pain, fracture, or arthritis of associated joints. The exact cause is unknown, although leading theories indicate both genetic and acquired factors. Paget's disease may affect any one or multiple bones of the body, but never the entire skeleton, and does not spread from bone to bone. Rarely, a bone affected by Paget's disease can transform into a malignant bone cancer. Signs and Symptoms Associated Conditions Causes Viral Genetic Pathogenesis Diagnosis Differential Diagnosis Treatment Medication Bisphosphonates Calcitonin Surgery Diet and exercise Prognosis Epidemiology History Society and culture As the disease often affects people differently, treatments of Paget's disease can vary. Although there is no cure for Paget's disease, medications can help control the disorder and lessen pain and other symptoms. Medications are often successful in controlling the disorder, especially when started before complications begin. Paget's disease affects from 1.5 to 8.0 percent of the population, and is most common in those of British descent. It is primarily diagnosed in older people, and is rare in people less than 55 years of age. Men are more commonly affected than women. The disease is named after Sir James Paget. Mild or early cases of Pagets are asymptomatic, and so most people are diagnosed with Paget's disease incidentally during medical evaluation for another problem. Approximately 35% of patients with Pagets have symptoms related to the disease when they are first diagnosed. Overall, the most common symptom is bone pain. When symptoms do occur, they may be confused with those of arthritis or other disorders, and so diagnosis may be delayed. Pagets may first be noticed as an increasing deformity of a person's bones. Paget's disease affecting the skull may lead to loss of hearing in one or both ears due to compression of the nerves in the inner ear. Rarely, skull involvement may lead to compression of the nerves that supply the eye, leading to vision loss. Paget's disease is a frequent component of multi-system proteinopathy. Advanced Paget's disease may lead to other medical conditions, including Paget's disease is not associated with osteoporosis. Although Paget's disease and osteoporosis can occur in the same patient, they are different disorders. Despite their marked differences, several treatments for Paget's disease are also used to treat osteoporosis. Paget's disease may be caused by a slow virus infection present for many years before symptoms appear. Associated viral infections include respiratory syncytial virus, canine distemper virus, and the measles virus. However, recent evidence has cast some doubt upon the measles association. Laboratory contamination may have played a role in past studies linking paramyxovirus to Paget's disease. There is a hereditary factor in the development of Paget's disease of bone. Two genes, SQSTM1 and RANK, 
and specific regions of chromosome 5 and 6 are associated with Paget's disease of bone. Genetic causes may or may not involve a family history of Paget's disease. About 40-50% of people with the inherited version of Paget's disease have a mutation in the gene SQSTM1, which encodes a protein, called P62, that is involved in regulating the function of osteoclasts. However, about 10-15% of people that develop the disease without any family history also have a mutation in the SQSTM1 gene. Paget's disease of bone is associated with mutations in rank. Receptor activator of nuclear factor kappa B, which is a type I membrane protein that is expressed on the surface of osteoclasts and is involved in their activation upon ligand binding. Additional genetic associations include The pathogenesis of Paget's disease is described in four stages. Initially, there is a marked increase in the rate of bone resorption in localized areas, caused by large and numerous osteoclasts. These localized areas of pathological destruction of bone tissue are seen radiologically as an advancing lytic wedge in long bones or the skull. When this occurs in the skull, it is called osteoporosis circumscripta. The osteolysis is followed by a compensatory increase in bone formation induced by the bone-forming cells, called osteoblasts, that are recruited to the area. This is associated with accelerated deposition of lamellar bone in a disorganized fashion. This intense cellular activity produces a chaotic picture of trabecular bone, rather than the normal linear lamellar pattern. The resorbed bone is replaced and the marrow spaces are filled by an excess of fibrous connective tissue with a marked increase in blood vessels, causing the bone to become hypervascular. The bone hypercellularity may then diminish, leaving a dense pagetic bone, also known as burned out Paget's disease. A later phase of the disease is characterized by the replacement of normal bone marrow with highly vascular fibrous tissue. Sir James Paget first suggested the disease was due to an inflammatory process. Some evidence suggests that a paramyxivirus infection is the underlying cause of Paget's disease, which may support the possible role of inflammation in the pathogenesis. However, no infectious virus has yet been isolated as a causative agent, and other evidence suggests an intrinsic hyper-responsive reaction to vitamin D and rank ligand is the cause. Further research is therefore necessary. The first clinical manifestation of Paget's disease is usually an elevated alkaline phosphatase in the blood. Paget's disease may be diagnosed using one or more of the following tests. Although initially diagnosed by a primary care physician, endocrinologists, rheumatologists, orthopedic surgeons, neurosurgeons, neurologists, oral and maxillofacial surgeons, podiatrists, and otolaryngologists are generally knowledgeable about treating Paget's disease and may be called upon to evaluate specialized symptoms. It can sometimes difficult to predict whether a person with Paget's disease, who otherwise has no signs or symptoms of the disorder, will develop symptoms or complications in the future. The goal of treatment is to relieve bone pain and prevent the progression of the disease. These medications are usually recommended for people with Paget's disease who 5. Bisphosphonates are currently available. In general, the most commonly prescribed are rhizdronic acid, alandronic acid, and pamidronic acid. Edidronic acid and other bisphosphonates may be appropriate therapies for selected patients but are less commonly used. None of these drugs should be used by people with severe kidney disease. Calcitonin, also called calcitonin salmon, 
is a synthetic copy of a polypeptide hormone secreted by the ultimobranchial gland of salmon. Myocalcin is administered by injection, three times per week or daily, for 6-18 months. Repeat courses can be given after brief rest periods. Myocalcin may be appropriate for certain patients, but is seldom used. Calcitonin is also linked to increased chance of cancer. Due to the increased risk of cancer, the European Medicines Agency recommended that calcitonin be used only on a short-term basis for three conditions for which it had previously been approved in the European Union, Paget's disease, acute bone loss resulting from sudden immobilization, and hypercalcemia caused by cancer. The EMA said it based its recommendations on a review of the benefits and risks of calcitonin-containing medicines. Conducted by the Agency's Committee for Medicinal Products for Human Use, the review encompassed available data from the companies that market these drugs, post-marketing safety data, randomized controlled studies, two studies of unlicensed oral calcitonin drugs, and experimental cancer studies, among other sources. CHMP found that at a higher proportion of patients treated with calcitonin for long periods of time develop cancer of various types, compared with patients taking placebo. The increase in cancer rates ranged from 0.7% for oral formulations to 2.4% for the nasal formulation. CHMP concluded that the benefits of calcitonin for osteoporosis did not exceed the risks. The nasal spray's only indication is for osteoporosis, thus justifying the drug's removal from the market. As a solution for injection or infusion, calcitonin should be administered for no more than four weeks to prevent acute bone loss resulting from sudden immobilization and normally for no more than three months to treat Paget's disease, the EMA said. The agency did not specify a time frame for the short-term use of calcitonin for treating hypercalcemia caused by cancer. Medical therapy prior to surgery helps to decrease bleeding and other complications. Patients who are having surgery should discuss treatment with their physician. There are generally three major complications of Paget's disease for which surgery may be recommended. Complications resulting from enlargement of the skull or spine may injure the nervous system. However, most neurologic symptoms, even those that are moderately severe, can be treated with medication and do not require neurosurgery. In general, Patients with Paget's disease should receive 1,500 mg of calcium, adequate sunshine, and at least 400 units of vitamin D daily. This is especially important in patients being treated with bisphosphonates, however, taking oral bisphosphonates should be separated from taking calcium by at least 2 hours, because the calcium can inhibit the absorption of the bisphosphonate. Patients with a history of kidney stones should discuss calcium and vitamin D intake with their physicians. Exercise is very important in maintaining skeletal health, avoiding weight gain, and maintaining joint mobility. Since undue stress on affected bones should be avoided, people with Paget's disease of bone should discuss any exercise program with their physicians or physical therapists before beginning. The disease is progressive and slowly worsens with time, although people may remain minimally symptomatic. Treatment is aimed at controlling symptoms, but there is no cure. Any bone or bones can be affected, but Paget's disease occurs most frequently in the spine, skull, pelvis, femur, and lower legs. Osteoarthritis may result from changes in bone shape that alter normal skeletal mechanics. For example, bowing of a femur affected by Paget's may distort overall leg alignment, 
subjecting the knee to abnormal mechanical forces and accelerating degenerative wear, heart failure is a rare, reported consequence of severe Paget's disease. The abnormal bone formation is associated with recruitment of abnormal blood vessels, forcing the cardiovascular system to work harder to ensure adequate circulation. Kidney stones are somewhat more common in patients with Paget's disease. Nervous system problems may occur in Paget's disease, resulting from increased pressure on the brain, spinal cord, or nerves, and reduced blood flow to the brain and spinal cord. When Paget's disease affects the facial bones, the teeth may become loose. Disturbance in chewing may occur. Chronic dental problems may lead to infection of the jawbone, angioid streaks may develop possibly as a result of calcification of collagen or other pathological deposition, vulvar Paget's disease ulceration can occur in female reproductive organs. Pagetic bone has a characteristic appearance on X-rays. A skeletal survey is therefore indicated, an elevated level of alkaline phosphatase in the blood in combination with normal calcium, phosphate and aminotransferase levels in an elderly patient are suggestive of Paget's disease, markers of bone turnover in urine e.g. Pyridinoline, elevated levels of serum and urinary hydroxyproline are also found, bone scans are useful in determining the extent and activity of the condition. If a bone scan suggests Paget's disease, the affected bone should be x-rayed to confirm the diagnosis. Have bone pain, headache, back pain, or a nerve-related symptom that is directly associated with the disease, have elevated levels of serum alkaline phosphatase in their blood, display evidence that a bone fracture will occur, require pre-treatment therapy for affected bones that require surgery, have active symptoms in the skull, long bones, or vertebrae, have the disease in bones located next to major joints, placing them at risk of developing osteoarthritis, develop hypercalcemia that occurs when a person with several bones affected by Paget's disease and a high serum alkaline phosphatase level is immobilized. Etadronate disodium The approved regimen is once daily for six months. A higher dose is more commonly used. No food, beverage, or medications should be consumed for two hours before and after taking. The course should not exceed six months, but repeat courses can be given after rest periods, preferably of three to six months duration, pamidronate disodium in intravenous form. The approved regimen uses an infusion over four hours on each of three consecutive days, but a more commonly used regimen is over two to four hours for two or more consecutive or non-consecutive days. Alandronate sodium is given as tablets once daily for six months. Patients should wait at least 30 minutes after taking. Before eating any food, drinking anything other than tap water, taking any medication, or lying down, teludronate disodium are taken once daily for three months, they may be taken any time of day, as long as there is a period of two hours before and after resuming food, beverages, and medications, risedronate sodium tablet taken once daily for two months is the prescribed regimen, patients should wait at least 30 minutes after taking before eating any food drinking anything other than tap water, taking any medication, or lying down, zoledronic acid is given as an intravenous infusion, a single dose is effective for two years. This is recommended for most people at high risk with active disease. Fractures surgery may allow fractures to heal in a better position. Severe degenerative arthritis if disability is severe and medication and physical therapy are no longer helpful, joint replacement of the hips and knees may be considered, bone deformity cutting and realignment of pagetic bone may help painful weight-bearing joints, especially the knees.
Osteogenic sarcoma, a form of bone cancer, is a rare complication of Paget's disease occurring in less than 1% of those affected. The development of osteosarcoma may be suggested by the sudden onset or worsening pain. Paget's disease of bone is the second most common metabolic bone disorder, after osteoporosis. The overall prevalence and severity of Paget's disease are decreasing, the cause for these changes is unclear. Paget's disease is rare in people less than 55 years of age, and the prevalence increases with age. Evidence from studies of autopsy results have demonstrated Paget's disease in about 3% of people older than 40 years of age. Paget's disease is more common in males than females. Rates of Paget's disease are about 50% higher in men than in women. About 15% of people with Paget's disease also have a family member with the disease. In cases where the disease is familial, it is inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion, although not all people that inherit the affected version of the genes will express the disease. The incidence of Paget's disease varies considerably with geographic location. Paget's predominantly affects people of European descent, whereas people of African, Asian, or Indian descent are less commonly affected. Paget's disease is less common in Switzerland and Scandinavia than in the rest of Western Europe. Paget's disease is uncommon in the native populations of North and South America, Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. When an individual from these regions does develop Paget's disease, there is typically some European ancestry present. The condition was initially described by Dr. James Paget. In a paper published in 1877, Paget told of five patients with a rare disease of bones which presented with slowly progressive bone deformities in the fourth and fifth decades of age. Strikingly, the first patient was described to have many of the classic complications of the disease, including arthritis related to abnormal bone mechanics, cranial nerve palsies associated with an enlarging skull, and malignant transformation of a tumor of the radius which ultimately proved fatal. Paget's post-mortem autopsy evaluation showed bones of the vault of this skull were in every part increased to about four times the normal thickness, and microscopic evaluation showed evidence of both bone erosion and abnormal remodeling. Although he incorrectly attributed the findings to a process of chronic inflammation, Having ruled out tumor and hypertrophy as alternative etiologies, these prescient observations of a mixed destructive-slash-regenerative process correspond to the modern understanding of the disease. Holding, then, the disease to be an inflammation of bones, I would suggest that, for brief reference, and for the present, it may be called, after its most striking character, Osteitis deformans. A better name may be given when more is known of it. Paget's disease of bone was originally termed osteitis deformans, because it was thought to involve an inflammatory process, which is implied by the suffix itis. Now, that term is considered technically incorrect, and the preferred term is osteodystrophia deformans.